I'm Irene from, from CryptoNet, and I'm going to talk about two projects. The first one is the Web3 storage bounty contract. So what is it? So we all know, I think, uh, Web3 storage is these amazing tools that allow you to store files um, on IPFS and, 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 and Filecoin in a very easy way. And the way you do it, the way you access this, uh, this service is just you drop your file uh, to them via the uh, website interface. So, so how our goal is to make this tool accessible from uh, any EVM compatible blockchain, for example, Ethereum or, or, or others. So something that is now from a blockchain, you store directly to Filecoin and IPFS passing by Web3 storage. Um, uh, this is, you know, a nice addition on Web3 storage, uh, features that uh, users can play with. And also with, for us, for CryptoNet, it's a very nice way to test uh, the general idea of bounty contracts. A bounty contract are, pr are protocols where the users can just place bounties to the service of store this file, to store the file that is, uh, 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 that is uh, linked with this hash. And any, you know, uh, storage deals we like to call can, can uh, activate and, and provide the service and then claim the bounty. So we do this specifically for a Web3 storage as a dealer. And how we do it is simple. Uh, basically, we have designed a storage a smart contract uh, that has three simple functions. The first one is create a deal proposal, where the that is used by clients that want to store a file. So, and basically, this is allowed to create this proposal of I'm going to pay this bounty to anyone that will uh, that will take this file and store it on Filecoin, for example, IPFS. A step deal proposal is uh, for the dealer, and in this case, is specifically for the Web3 storage dealer that check if the file is available, if it can access the file that was uh, uh, for which the proposal was made, and if it can access it and all other parameters. So the, the proposal con can contain other parameters, like, for example, the payment, the bounty, or duration, and other, other uh, storage features, let's say. If all these are, are fine, it'll accept the deal. Uh, so now we say that there is a deal active between the, the, the client and a Web3 storage dealer and we'll activate the, 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 the Web3 storage service and storing with uh, Filecoin providers and, and, and IPFS doing the, 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 the usual service, the, the, the service that is already providing. And and then and, and and this is like the deal is active, this, the file is storage. We have a last functions that we call claim bounty. That here is uh, not uh, that 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 that's one that the dealer can call to get the bounty. So he needs to have some proof of storage that the storage was successful. And once that this is done, he can claim the bounty. Actually, right now we are not using this in the uh, test in the, in the test version that we have because the, the payment, the bounty is uh, set to zero, so it's not really needed. But um, here you can see like, like, like the, 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 this app is, uh, the, the smart contract is uh, deployed on uh, garlic testnet and we have an app for clients that you can test if you scan the QR code. There is a small video here and uh, that show you how it goes. You basically uh, just drop your file sign the transaction that is made by create the proposal uh, with the MetaMask, for example. And when the proposal is online, you get a notification. And when the Web3 dealer, you, uh, the, Web3, the Web3 storage dealer accept, you get another notification. And now at the end, you just have this nice link where you can retrieve uh, the file. Uh, if you can, can check and retrieve the file. Here is actually, we are still waiting for the confirmation from Web3. This confirmation usually takes a, a few, few seconds because Web3 storage is, you know, downloading the file and activating the, 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 the storage deals with Filecoin provider, uh, uploading to the IPFS node. So there, you, only, you usually need some time. Yeah, you can click on the link, the link show you the file, waiting for the confirmation. And when the confirmation is arrived, you, you 
can also go back to your homepage of the app where all the deals are there with the details of when you made the deals, uh, for how long is active, and this link where you can uh, you can still uh, uh, check uh, um, the file. Uh, okay, I think this is starting again, so I'll stop.